us. Satellite images can contain a number of artifacts and anomalies, which must be corrected before they can be transferred to maps. Adjustments that are often applied to satellite images include geometric corrections. Geometric corrections are applied to an image to adjust spatial anomalies caused by variations in altitude, earth curvature, relief displacement, and so on. These anomalies may cause scale changes over the image, irregularities in the angular relationships between the image elements, and displacement of objects in the image. ArcGIS provides solutions, including geoferencing and orthorectification, to perform geometric corrections and create a product that is map accurate. Although both geoferencing and orthorectification are necessary to correct geometric distortions in an image, this course uses orthorectification to create the final product. In the resulting image, every pixel is depicted as if viewed at nadir, or directly overhead, with all the effects of hills, valleys, and so on removed. How can you make an image map accurate? The goal of making geometric corrections to remotely sensed imagery is to create map accurate images. A map accurate image displays all features in their correct location. The geometric corrections involve organizing the spatial placement of measurements and resampling, so that exact locations and appropriate pixel values can be calculated. These locations are then used to change the location of pixels to ensure accurate data combination, locate relevant points, merge adjacent acquisitions, overlap temporal sequences of images on the same area taken by different sensors and from different vantage points, and overlap images and other data in a GIS. Geoferencing and orthorectification can be used to correct for geometric errors in a remotely sensed image. Geoferencing If the correction simply matches image pixels to known ground coordinates, the process is referred to as simple geoferencing. Geoferencing is required and the image lacks a coordinate system and any projection information. The geoferencing tools in ArcGIS do the following tasks. Create spatial information for an image. Give an approximate result. Orthorectification. The alternative is orthorectification, which is used when the satellite image already has spatial information and the analysis requires highly accurate measurements from the image. The ArcGIS orthorectification tools require the following inputs. 1. Detailed terrain. 2. Camera model. 3. Accurate sensor location. Orthorectification can accurately project every pixel from the raw image to its correct place in a mathematically defined grid, coordinate system. The graphic on the left depicts a raw worldview, two satellite image. The graphic on the right shows the same scene corrected using orthorectification. This process corrects the image pixel by pixel for topographic distortion. The result is that every pixel appears to be viewed from directly above, that is, the image is a strict orthographic projection. The orthorectification tools in ArcGIS do the following tasks. 1. Remove internal and external effects in an image. 2. Georeference by assigning more accurate coordinates to the final image. Removing the effect of relief displacement using orthorectification. The magnitude of the displacement in the image between the top and the bottom of an object is its relief displacement. This displacement is related to the height of the object and the distance from the nadir point. Because of relief displacement, features in a perspective projection appear to lean outward from the center of the image. Orthorectification can solve the relief displacement problem. During orthorectification, the image is projected onto the actual underlying surface using information from the DEM. Distortions arising from topographic relief can be analytically rectified and the objects in the image and the real world have equal dimensions. The resulting orthorectified image accurately represents features on the ground, just like a map. Orthorectified imagery, also known as orthoimagery, is precisely registered to a ground coordinate system. Because of this precise registration, the scale is constant throughout the entire image, and the image is free of artifacts, such as crooked line features, caused by relief displacement. These properties make orthoimagery map accurate and the clear choice for applications that require accurate positional information and precise measurement of features. An orthorectified image has the geometric qualities of a map, 
ground features are displayed in their true, X, Y, position because relief displacements caused by the terrain have been removed. This correction enables direct measurements of distances, areas, angles, and positions. This graphic depicts a satellite image with a central perspective containing terrain distortion and lateral scale anomalies, and a DEM involved in orthorectification. Notice that the orthorectified image appears to be warped around the outer edge. This distortion is a normal effect, as the DEM in this case dictated that the warping was necessary. What can you do with an orthorectified image? Orthoimagery is an essential element for many geospatial information applications. With GIS data layers, orthoimagery can form rich geospatial data visualizations for cadastral mapping, urban planning, civil engineering, topographic mapping, site evaluations, transportation analysis, and natural resource management. Workflow for creating an orthorectified image Use the following workflow to create an orthorectified image using ArcGIS. Orthorectifying an image uses a three-step workflow. The preceding graphic presents a generalized workflow for orthorectifying a satellite image. 1. Input the original image and the RPC DEM information. 2. Choose one of three methods in ArcGIS, depending on the data and desired output. The Image Analysis Window a mosaic dataset. A geoprocessing tool. 3. Create the orthorectified image. Choosing a technique in ArcGIS. ArcGIS provides multiple orthorectification options, and each method has different features to offer. Method 1. Using the image analysis window creates a temporary raster layer based on on-the-fly processing and applies the geometric function. The geometric process produces an orthorectified image based on a sensor definition and a terrain model to the layer. This method is used for the following, 1. Orthorectifying one single image and only needing a quick visual result. 2. Not saving the result, unless saving the map document or exporting the file to create an orthorectified raster. Method 2. Using the mosaic dataset method applies the geometric function to the dataset. This method is used for the following. 1. Orthorectifying several satellite scenes at the same time. Storing the results permanently within the mosaic dataset, but requiring export if a new orthorectified raster file is required for non-ArcGIS applications. 2. Creating output in a different coordinate system than the source raster data. 3. Publishing output directly as an image service. Method 3. Using the geoprocessing tool method saves the output to BIL, BIP, BMP, BSQ, DAT, ESRI grid, GIF, IMG, JPEG, JPEG 2000, PNG, TIFF, or any geodatabase raster dataset. This method is used for creating a permanent layer. 